got four laps of fuel remaining. Okay, car behind trailing us, 20.0 seconds. Final lap of the race. of fuel left. Fantastic race that was. Absolutely loved it. But Natalie, do you think we see Connor Sport next season? We were safe, maybe not. I hope so. I feel like they deserve it. They've been box office for me. They've taken chances, they've been bold in all their moves, and ultimately, that's great for us and for the fans. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more, but there's not much of the season left. They'll be hoping they can carry this form into the final stages. Time will tell. Here comes your top three making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula One.
Wow, Kelly, a really strong performance out there today. Just tell me, though, how big a role did the safety car play? Yeah, I mean, I really fancied my chances after the safety car. Obviously, it's going to really disrupt the race, but I was able to take advantage of it today. Um, I saw an opportunity and I went for it and it worked out well. Callie, your first F1 season is nearing an end. It must feel like a long road, but clearly you've put a lot into it. And is there anyone else that's been particularly influential this season? Influential? Um, well, yeah, I'd say my father has been influential, just not necessarily in the best way. I don't mind him funding the team, but I do mind when he starts trying to run it. And tell me, I'm not sure I could do it, but how has it been working so very closely with your family? Um, I treat those relationships as purely professional. Um, outside of races, that's another matter, but at race weekend, these are people I have to work with to do my job. They may also happen to be family, but that's not something I pay much attention to. There are rumors circulating that Connor Sport may not be around next season. Can you comment? Um, that sounds like a question for our investors. Um, I'm sure we'd all appreciate a public statement on the matter. That's great, thank you. Okay, so we are running two quite different setups out there today. And you don't need me to tell you how it... You don't need me to tell you how it... Davidoff, that's enough. I'm sorry? Get out. What on earth are you talking about? I've had an entire season of you whispering in people's ears. I'm asking you to leave the meeting. You can't be serious. This is not your team. And after today, it might not even exist. So get out and let those of us who actually care about the result do our jobs. We'll talk about this later, Ackerman. You can threaten me after the race. So be it. You coming, Devon? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I might actually stay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna stay. Well, that's up to you. Okay, listen. You all know what's at stake. If we race as individuals today, the team dies. The only way we can survive this, the only way that any of us are coming back next season, is together. We all understand this? No, no. Aiden? Callie? Look at me. You look at me. We understand this, yes? If you put yourself ahead of the team today, there's no more team. Callie. We got this. Yeah. And, um, I'm sorry if I was ever. Wow. What? Are you apologizing? Yeah. <laughs> I will forgive you on one condition. What's that? You get your share of the points. All right. Deal. Chin up. 